What's up guys, this is your boy Adoptionism here. I'm bringing you guys a video that I kind of normally don't ever have really done anything like this. Uh, but this is me just kind of wanting to talk to you guys about, you know, I, I did honestly, I wouldn't say boycott it, but I did take a very extensive break from Destiny 2 just because it seemed like they were screwing everything. Like this was, honestly, this was making me way more pissed and angry than I was when, you know, there was all that BS with Destiny 1. Uh, but this one, it was just, it was too much. Like, they, they came out with this DLC. I thought it was great because you got to learn about Osiris. He was one of those characters that you hear about the lore and the legends of him, Saint-14, all that stuff. And you're like, oh, this guy's so cool. And then we got the DLC and we're like, oh, this is so fun. And then you finish the story and you're like, what do I do now? So, yeah, it literally just got way too stale for me. And it it was boring. Like, I, I didn't like it. I, I was upset. I definitely was not appreciating the game anymore it definitely wasn't what i was hoping for it wasn't what what i liked uh i, I know there's many many other people that probably feel the same way um but i just want to make this video to talk about how much uh you know being such an avid destiny one player then jumping on destiny two when it first came out and then now we have you know all these changes like the last time that i actually thoroughly played this game was when the osiris dlc came out and i think i played like the first mission to the war mine campaign so it's been what i want to i want to say it feels like new year's like around new year time frame um but i know it's probably like somewhat different than that but it's just the changes that was from the last time that i touched this game to the current state that it's in now has been a phenomenal change and probably one of the best ways possible between the gun rebalancing, the overall just flow and movement of the game. Um, I mean, granted, I haven't played it in so long, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff for me to do, so that's probably why it's not stale. But, you know, like them doing this Solstice of Heroes event for a whole month, like that is fun. You know, you they're giving you an opportunity to get a code so you could get one of the shirts like you could from, uh, I want to say it was last year or destiny one or whatever uh i think that's that's really cool that they're doing that and then there's all of these amazing changes that we've seen in the trailer and the combat system reveal from bungie for the forsaken dlc and my thing is in destiny one i i was in the story like i loved i loved the storyline especially if you were a grimoire collector like me I was I was reading lore like crazy and the fact that you know we get to see the prince come back because in Destiny 1 he kind of just threw a fit and disappeared and we don't know what was going on with him and here we are finding out that you know he was thrown in prison and then he's experimenting on other people or whatever to make them stronger and make them work for him and you know just that whole change and that flow and that history of the characters um, is making me extremely excited for the Forsaken. But, you know, also them bringing back, you know, like the Black Spindle, okay? Or in this one, it's the Whisper of the Worm. Now, my thing is about that is that so far to my knowledge from what my friends have said is that there hasn't been any nerfs on it, which is awesome because from what I've seen, the task that you have to do to obtain it is ridiculous. If they ever nerfed that gun, I honestly, I if I relied on it a lot, I, I would probably rage quit for a couple days, maybe a couple weeks um but honestly the fact that it's as strong as it is but you have to do some crazy feat to get it and let alone the, the catalyst the catalyst is going to be hard as hell to get but i think the change that they have done has revived my drive to enjoy this game like me and my girlfriend she has an xbox set up in the living room while i have you know my little station at my desk and it was it's great because we get to sit here and we get to play together i get to help her or she gets to you know help me or go on strikes and stuff as clan mates and whatnot and it's been it, it has been way way more exciting than it ever was you know a couple like months back and you know just all, all these changes i mean honestly the war mine dlc um i thought that was actually really cool uh the best part was obviously the end cut scene with uh Rasputin talking and it definitely leaves a lot of open things like uh-oh like what, what's gonna happen with Rasputin so who knows i feel like he might be a part of another maybe a raid or another version of a strike or something I uh, i don't know it's kind of it's kind of too soon to tell but i i definitely i know i might be repeating myself but it's because i'm so excited 
that they have changed the game the way that they have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are some nerfs and some stuff that, that have carried over. But, I mean, even currently, dude, I can still pick up my Nameless Midnight and enjoy that scout rifle. I will never, I will never get rid of that scout rifle. That thing is way too precious and dear to my heart. And, you know, even Scathe Lock, Origin Story. Origin Story is probably going to still be one of the best auto rifles in the game, period. Um, just overall usage. Uh, and then like the exotic, some dude, the exotic changes made this game way, way better. Like, uh, was it the Darcy used to be the, like the most, like nobody gave a hell to even use it because it sucked. And now it's like, Oh, if you don't got the black spindle, boom, get Darcy. You're good to go. So it, just all of these little changes here and there have really shaped uh, the future mindset and the excitement that I have for this game now is just through the roof. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not, I have not at fully watched every single thing about the Forsaken. So before anybody says I'm bandwagoning or anything like that, it's literally has nothing to do with that. It's because of, I've noticed like me playing the game, me doing the challenges, me doing the, I mean, the armor alone is awesome and it's definitely to occupy your time until, you know, until the forsaken comes out but it's still it's a change like that that has really revived my drive anyway guys sorry for the ramble sorry for the rant i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just kind of me giving my opinion about you know if you're an old player if you're an og player like i was and you took a long break because you were tired of the bs honestly come back because i'm i'm super glad that i had that that one that tiny 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 urge to just give it a shot and Honestly, now I'm I'm excited that I, I want to keep playing it. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, I do really want to do a Forsaken DLC giveaway, so please stay tuned for that. Um, again, more shares, likes, subscribes, all that stuff will definitely help contribute towards that. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Devour and slay meet the Lord of the